Right, let's try again, shall we? A weird, awkward silence as everything begins to boot up. Everybody loves some technical difficulties. I'm just waiting for the Xbox to catch up now. So, tap music on. There we go. Hoi Gilly. Yeah, it seems to be stabilised now. I've just got to do the whole signing and get my Xbox online and everything again. There we go. Well, let's get started then, shall we? It works. Four. We were in the DLC in Ulysseal, making our way to Artorius. Uh, in between last stream, I did go and do a couple of little bits. I've not leveled up or anything like that. I did reinforce my chest piece. So my chest, chest armor is now fully upgraded. Leaving just the hat left to do. So I need to find some chunks and a titanite slab to do those eventually. That is now fully upgraded, it's the only thing left to upgrade. And I completely forgot about a story thing we need to go and do. So we're gonna go back to the stone dragon. Right at the bottom of the big tree. 
because there is a story thing there I completely forgot about. So there's our dragon friend. And all the way over this way. You remember the onion knight we met? Outside Sen's Fortress. Um, and we saw him in an Orlando as well. So he has been running around doing his own little adventure. And turns out he's undead. He's slowly going hollow and he's forgetting stuff. And his daughter was looking for him. So when I loaded into Firelink Shrine during one of my upgrade runs, his daughter was there. And she said, oh yeah, have you seen him anywhere? Hi, Manu. So yeah, we told the, the Onion Knight's daughter was looking for him. In Firelink Shrine. So I turned around and I was like, yeah, I've seen him. She said, all right, I'll go looking for him to keep him out of trouble. And... This is where they end up. So this is the end of their storyline. So we're just going to go and do this bit. And then we're going to go and see, say hello to one of the, probably one of the cooler NPCs in the entire series. We should head over this way first. It's too bad we can't go to the other bonfire. So we've got this bit of a run, but gives me a chance to waffle on for a bit before we get there. So yeah, you have the Onion Knight, who is Siegmeier, who's the little guy we found going, hmm, hmm, hmm. And he's basically here having an adventure because he's undead, but... See, that one dropped one straight away. It took me forever to get Twinkling's High tonight when I was trying to upgrade my armour. And it turns out his daughter was looking for him. So we told her where he is. And she's followed him down here. So let's come see what's happened. See, two Twinkling Titanite, or two of them. You know how long it took me to get one Twinkling Titanite when I was doing the grinding? It was like near an hour before I saw any. I killed dozens of them. And now we get two Twinkling Titanite in two kills. That's bullshit. But if we get round to killing the drakes and I get dragon scales off the drakes straight away, I will be immediately calling bullshit because I was sat there for so long farming those drakes. I don't want to go and do any of the big dragons because they're like story spoilers and stuff. I want to do those on stream. So, there is nothing here. There should be stuff here. Where are they all? Do I have to... Do I forget something? Or, or do I have to go back to Firelink again? Oh yeah, classic loot RNG bullshit. The moment you don't need something, it drops dozens of it. Oh, there she is. Yeah, we need to do this bit. So this will be Sieglind, who's the other guy's daughter. Well, hello again. I have finally located my father. All of your help was invaluable to us. Thank you so much. I was finally able to pass on my mother's last words. My father, he went on his final adventure. Don't worry, that's just the way he is. I'm dead or no. Sort of reassuring, <laughs> really. If he goes hollow, I just have to kill him again. And yeah, because he's undead, he comes back just like we do. My father. <laughs> he went on his final adventure. Can't work. He goes. And we also have another friend here in Firelink Shrine. So. Polarentius. 
Our little pyromancer guy is gone forever now, he's dead. We have Rick Kurt who's just sat here doing his thing. But look who else turned up. Where's he gone? Is he in this bit? Look who it is! It's Patches! Oh, you again! Fancy that! You've come at the perfect time. Some new gems have come my way. I saved them specially, just for you, mate. So yeah, he's now a vendor. And sells stuff for us. Sells humanity, twin humanities. Eyes of death, divine blessings, which are like full HP clears. Prism stones. He's got a couple of miracles, which is weird, because he really dislikes clerics. Although I'm, I'm assuming because he sells these as well, he's just got them off dead clerics. And he sells the other masks from Pinwheel. We wanted them, and he sells the cleric set as well. We wanted those. But our good friend Patches is now a vendor. I'm done with the looting. I'm a humble merchant now. And wondrous treasures have I. At a special price for you. Special price. Yeah, he's a ripper. Come on. You can do. Nobody likes a tight wad. You hear me? See? Cheeky bastard. So it's Patches the vendor. So now I've spoken to Sieglind, I should be able to go back to Ash Lake. Means I'm gonna have to do that stupid run again from the Stone Dragon, but. Means when we get down there. We should get the end of the story. Oh, again. Yeah, I went back and did some of the... The Big Hat Logan stuff as well. He's like the coolest... Probably the coolest NPC in the first game. He's basically a wizard who is researching and inventing new spells. And he's got a giant hat. And loads of people. In the later games, basically, all their work is based off his research, because he was just that good a wizard. Anyway, I'm going to make this stupid long run again now. Let's see if this event actually triggered or not, or whether it's broken and I've done something wrong. you dropped anything? See, more of it. This is bullshit. Four kills, three twinkling titanite. That is absolute bullshit. Like, I'm not even wearing any of the stuff that gives you extra drops either. Like, you can get rings and armor and things that increased drop rates of items but no it's just throwing them at me now when I don't even need them uh, it's kicked me off Xbox Live for some reason it likes doing this lately like my Xbox just loses its internet connection at random And now it's going to complain at me saying, oh, you didn't exit the game properly. Oh, great. We weren't getting invaded or anything anyway. Right. Let's go. Uh, there are events based around the Dark Souls games as well. Like, if any of you use Reddit and do enjoy like doing the online stuff, the different Reddits organise um, like revivals where they'll all make new characters and do co-op 
and invasions and PvP and stuff. So it's like they've all got names like um, another one. It's bollocks. We've all got names like Return to Anorland or Back to Drang Lake and things like that. Where they'll all just jump on and start again and play through the game. Um, while invaded, I don't think there is. I know in Dark Souls 3, if somebody disconnects it and you're invading them, it automatically counts as a victory for you and a loss for them, so they drop their souls and everything where they were, but I don't know if there's anything in the, fir in the first or the second one. Right now, has it worked? It has worked! Oh, we have a person stood over a dead body. Look. I wonder what's happened here. And we've got our Titanite slap. So this poor girl has followed her dad here because he likes to get himself in trouble. And he's undead, so for him, dying isn't too much of a problem. But if you lose your will, like your reason for existing or doing what you do as an undead, you start to go hollow and start to lose all your memories until you eventually just turn to like a basically like the zombies that we see around the game where they just attack mindlessly and that's what happened with him and it ended up being his own poor daughter who had to put him down but it's the end of their storyline I wonder if I can still do the glitch thing with his eyes, with his head yeah does this work still? So you can see his face. Kind of. Ah, it's not letting me do it. But there was a camera bug you could do. Where you could see inside his helmet. And he was all hollowed out and messed up. But that is the end of that storyline. We'll go back to Ula Seal now and go meet another character who's gone nuts because of all the crap that happened to him. We can make our way through the gardens and stuff first. So we are back in Ula Seal. She's very pretty. I quite like Ula Seal. And they have these magic lights and everything everywhere because Ula Seal was really good at sorcery. Like, really good at it. And we've got more gardeners. I have one of those pitchforks as well now. I did not realise I picked it up as a drop. Last time we were playing. There. I also need to be more careful with my controls. I keep trying to kick stuff by accident. So instead of actually swinging, I'm just going. So instead of swinging like that, I keep trying to kick stuff or parry them. And it's a bad idea. Granted, there is no real parry with this thing. You can only block with it. So this is the elevator we've not got turned on. We were going this way. Towards the bridge. As you can see one of the big stone guardians over there wandering around. I 
Anything following me? Doesn't look like it. So we'll continue heading this way. And like all good games, it gets you to follow the lights to show you where to go. And you can hear thunder in the distance. Which last time I played, I thought was actually outside. I didn't realise it was in-game. after these guys. This suicidal diving attack. Oh yeah, we've got these guys on the left who sneak up on us. Let's take a lot of them out because I don't want to get trapped and die on that lift again. Oh, there's a stream constantly dropping out for you. Let's have a look. It might be my connection again. Yeah, my connection everything seems fine, I've just checked it, so I'm not sure. But it's not showing that it's disconnected or anything. I don't know. Exploder thing, isn't he? Or not? He's dropped something. Twinkling, t more twinkling tag on it. I didn't have enough of it already. Let's go. Yeah, all I can see is a few drop frames and stuff. Like the actual connection and everything seems to be fine. But I am not sure.
let's go and give Artorias a go, shall we? Or try to. Dun, 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 dun. So one hit and then dodge. Seems to be the best possible possible thing I can do with this guy. He'll do this explosion every now and then. And then he'll start doing extra flips and stuff. Right, wait for him to do something fancy. And now heal. Slam. Ow. Got him two thirds of the way down. Oh, yes, dumped me back at Ash Lake because I didn't sit down. Oops. Sanctuary is the one I need. Hi, Bort. Well, now I will sit down at this bottom line. So, I'm going after Artorius again. Um. Oh yeah, because I picked them up, didn't I? Um, did I have anything else useful? No. Alright, I finished off the storyline for Siegmeier and Sieglind, the Onion Knights. And got my final Titanite slab that I need. Although it is sad at the end, so... Now I am going after Artorius. And I'm not doing too bad. I just need to get better at dodging his attacks. Because he keeps catching me. I might, instead of stopping and going for swings like this, I might go for rolling attacks instead. And yeah, I've had a couple of technical problems as well. But the stream is not liking me today. I was even going to start early and ended up pretty much just being on time. Probably a good thing I did, to be honest. It's not a stream if there's no technical issues at some point. We have the plan ready for Dark Souls 2 as well. Like, I've been given my stipulation for it, which is that... I'm having to use the Cestus, the punching weapons, but I am open to use magic and stuff as well. But my plan is to go for, like, an effects. Like, like a status build-up one. Because the Cestus hit, hit a lot. Like, when you have the stats for it, you're hitting, like, three, four times constantly. So I might go for like poison or something like that. And yeah, it's always the stupid tech issues that pop up. <laughs> right, we got these guys to come over. 
So yeah, Dark Souls 1, I am big smashy, because I am cosplaying as cloth, basically. As soon as I got this helmet, I decided, right, we're going to cosplay cloth. But, Dark Souls 2, we shall be small and nippy and punchy. And I have no idea what to do for Dark Souls 3. I'm tempted to let you guys decide that. I like put a poll up on the Discord or something and go, right, Aaron's playing Dark Souls 3 next. What kind of build should he do? Right, a heavy attack for these guys. And even more Twinkling Titanite. Although you always get extra. I'm not surprised I got Twinkling Titanite in the DLC because they tend to throw... Something just randomly died over there. But yeah, they, they tend to throw upgrade materials at you so you can have everything fully upgraded because they tend to see it as like equal to end game content. And yeah, Dark Souls 2 is going to be painful. Like, I know the game well. I don't know it as well as I know it's Dark Souls 3, but I know Dark Souls 2 quite well. Pop punching stuff is going to be painful, which is why I'm going to go for the effects. I'm going to try for like a poison and bleed build. But I don't have the magic restriction, so I can always throw some pyromancing stuff in there if I need to. Oh, that was silly, Aaron. But the stab isn't so bad. Now do something. Although I'm not going to catch him on the stab. My range is too small. Especially if I roll into it. Just let me get up, you dick. There we go. That's more like it. Now, while you go all shouty, I shall heal a bit. that combo in the face then shall I? <clears throat> yeah I'm thinking and I need to when I dodge his stuff I need to go for the roll attack instead of just going for the normal swing after. It won't do as much damage but it will probably be more consistent. It's just the roll attack has a really short range to it so I'll have to stick close to him. slow way across. It's one thing I don't like about this, it's just the really long boss run. 
could really have done with like a bonfire or something on the other side. <gasps> Hi back. Yeah, I would just say Dark Souls 2 is going to be painful with Cestus, but I'll be able to use magic and stuff as well, so I'm tempted to go, for, go in for some pyromancy and stuff. will help a lot. Like, Power Within is a, a pyromancy that buffs all your damage, and that thing is always OP. Like, it has a downside of that it drains health, but if I go Paramalty, I'll have high faith, and I could just put Blessed Infusion on my Cestus, which will regen my health back as well. I will work out a build for it. failing at dodging today. There. Yeah, magic could be fun. First time I did Dark Souls 2, I did a magic build. But the hardest part of it was the DLC. Because uh, the Shulva, the Poison City, that plot, everything there has high magic resist. And everything in the Ash City as well, which I've forgotten the name of, has high magic resist. So you have to mix it up a fair bit, but there's ways around it. Like when I first played Dark Souls 2, which is the character I still have to save of actually. I actually did a pure wizard, and that was great fun, although it was really tricky at points. Ah, I need to roll towards. That's really slow. That's really heavy. Ranged only is fun. Like, it is completely doable as well. And yeah, Kelly did bring me coffee today. Dark Souls 3, like it has a bunch of different crossbows and balls and stuff that you can use. Although the best one, I don't think you can get until you've beat the last boss, because you get it off him. Or it's a weapon that he uses, I should say. Like I've seen people do crazy stuff with using different kinds of bows. So they have like the big dragon slayer bow, which is the one that you have to stand still and plant into the ground to use. And then they'll have like a composite bow and stuff. one of you running up behind me. I'm just gonna ignore you. He 
He's going to drop down, isn't he? Yep. You know, it might have been him who fell off earlier. I have another parcel coming tomorrow as well, which I'm quite excited about. I think it's tomorrow, or maybe Monday. But a couple of my friends from the US are sending me some more supplies. Like we found out a cheap, cheaper way to do it than how we used to. Like we used to actually order stuff here and mail it over, but shipping's like forty, fifty dollars, and it's extortionate. So what they do now is they found a company here that will accept US credit cards and they will order a box of special stuff and send it to us and I'll do the same for them like I found a company near where they live in Arizona that accepts PayPal and I just pay with my PayPal. And I send them like a lot of British sweets and stuff. So they've had a look at the site themselves but they can never decide what to get. I've sent them some this time as well a bunch of the uh, you know the hobnobs, the chocolate biscuits that I sent you and Bart Manu. I've sent them some of those. Oh I've got both of them. And now he is stuck to his friends. <laughs> there. Right then. I need to work out how to dodge his lunge move. I might have to dodge it later than I am doing. I know the big slash I keep dodging way too early and he just catches me at the end of it. So we will have to see. I'll tell you what I will do though. Send the lift back up, I keep forgetting to do that. Right, so we have... A favour of protection, we've got steel protection on. Uh, I don't have any other useful items, so... i not got anything I can drop for a quick load, so we will just go. And I will try not to fuck up the dodging. Right, come on, Notorious. Diagonal! Diagonal dodge is the way to go for that thing. Yeah, I quite like hobnobs. It's because they're like OT biscuits, so not everybody likes them. But I know a bunch of people who don't like them, but they are some of my favourites. Right, do your big explosion. I say big explosion. Right, that one is going to be a towards then. Drink. Whoa, uppercut. See, I do uppercuts in Dark Souls 3. And this is the guy that loot that move comes from. Right, you're just doing the one. Good. That was silly of me. And he two shot me. <clears throat> so yeah, when he gets into that final phase, it's like dodge everything or you're dead. And now for that I might just run past everything this time or try to.
Yeah, I quite like hobnobs. They're one of my favourites. Yeah, the lower Artorius' health gets, the more damage he does. Well, not the more damage he does, like the more aggressive he is with his attacks and he'll combo them more. So when I get him down to like, that final couple of hits, I've really got to dodge every... I'll tell you what I might do, actually. Steel protection isn't going to be much use in that final phase. I'll put Chloranthe on. Go for the extra stam. But yeah, I remembered what the fourth knight was called as well the other day. I was mentioning like Artorius is one of the four big bad knights of Gwyn. So you've got Ornstein, who he killed earlier in the game, who hangs out with his buddy Smo, the execu executioner, or Fat Boy and Slim, as I like to call them. <laughs> They've got all sorts of nicknames like that, Bill and Ben. So if you're UK, you might know of Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. Or people call them Little and Large, and there's all sorts of names for them. But I always call them Fat Boy and Slim. And Ornstein is the dragon slayer, the fan, like the knight famed for killing dragons. Uh, the second knight is Hawkeye Goff, who is a, a bowman, who we will meet later on. So I won't spoil Goff. He's cool. They are all, all quite cool. You have Ortorius, who is the Abyss Walker, and he's famous for basically being the most badass of the knights. He wandered into the Abyss like this big black, like nothingness filled with monsters, and walked out again after fighting them. But he held back the Abyss by killing stuff in there. <sighs> Bart contributing more to Fork Knife. And then you had last of them all, the fourth one, is Kieran, who was the assassin, known as Kieran of Blades. And Kieran had like her whole covenant of assassins. She pretty much ran the version of the Assassin's Creed assassins. Like, they were all spies, they used disguise, they were hidden, they'd take out certain targets. And she basically ran those. And her and Artorius had a bit of a thing. And now we've got Artorius to kill. So, I've got Chloranthion this time, which means I'll take some more damage, because I've not got... thingy plate ring on but it means I will have more stamina back for dodging and if I stay here you can hear Artorius breathing that is him breathing let's go rarg right, so that there. Don't you be spitting stuff at me. It's dirt. Yeah, that one's going to have to be a rolling attack. Tate him. That's a two combo, three combo. It's double chug. in it. You're not going to do your shout. But yeah, that goop everywhere is the abyss. 
Right, tell you what. Gotchas. Go for a sneaky running attack while he was charging up. And there you have the soul of Artorius. Nice. And yeah, you can even see from the icon of it how he is all abyss corrupted. Whoop whoop. So that's Artorius done. Is there a bonfire in here now? I don't think there is. It's out here somewhere. <laughs> All right, Dave. And here we have Ula Seal proper. Ah, oh, there's the bonfire. Let's light it. Sit down and level up a bit. more fork knife from Alex. So we will do one point into our vitality. Help up a little bit more. <laughs> but yeah you can see it takes 41,000 now to level up so losing a few souls isn't a problem. But let's do a bit of exploring because there were stairs over here. And there might also be... Are they in here? No. There's nobody in here at the moment. So yeah, we went past these stairs and then we've got another way out there past Chester who is definitely, definitely, definitely not a Bloodborne character. Oh, this is where they put the arena. So yeah, this is where you can fight people online in Dark Souls 1. This is the Jewel Arena. Three types of Battle of Stoicism match. You've got 1v1, 2v2 and then multiplayer deathmatch. And consecutive wins to go into the Slate of Legends but I am offline at the moment because my Xbox has been funny. So that's where the arena is. And then upstairs... What do we have upstairs? There's a hole. Now what's around the other way before I go across that? Because I can hear something over there. <gasps> An item! It's all over here. Right, nothing special. Right, let's see what's across this little bridge, shall we? In the other tower. Oh, it's locked. Well, it's definitely something in there. I can hear it. So, we can now go... Hello, very good. Very good. Hello. Yeah, Dave knows what's up there. So, we can't go that way. That is quite obviously process, cause that progress, because that's where the bonfire is. So let's go out and see what was past Marvelous Chester. So let's go this way. Hello there, Chester, who is definitely not a Bloodborne character. Oh, for Juniper's sake, put some spring into your step. <laughs> oh, let's get some green blossoms, because they're actually quite useful. Um... So long. How many more bosses we've got? 
One, two, two in the DLC, one of whom is technically optional. Oh, don't tell me this is the other thing. I ran all that way all that time. And it's here. Fuck. Oh well. That's what's past Chester then. <laughs> So now it's just into the actual town itself. But yeah, I've got two more bosses left in the DLC. In the main game, I've got... One. Two. Three. Four, I think. Four or three. I can't remember exactly. Although one of the DLC bosses is completely optional, but I am going to do it because it is like an iconic fight. So this is Ulusil, and it is messed up. You want to see how messed up it is? That guy. Yeah. They're just all over the place. But yeah, that's what the abyss does to people. All those messed up mutations and stuff, these used to be just regular people. And this is what the abyss does to them. Ortorius was a badass. It just made him into like a basically a Street Fighter character. But this is what the Abyss does to you if you're a regular person. Another elevator here. Oh, we've got more this way to go. I'm going to have to be really careful if I actually have to dodge here. Because I am just going to fall flat off the side, I know it. Wizard. Gotcha. Yeah, I know your game, sneaky. Soul of a brave warrior. But yeah, you can hear them all around. Right, well, it's round this way, because you are not the obvious path. So it's bound to be something useful or interesting. Or a shortcut. Surprise! You are what I could hear earlier. So that's... You're going to be like a drop-off or something, aren't you? Can we roll off onto this lower ledge? Let's give it a go. We can. So we can go into that building. What's further around this way? Further around this way looks like progress. Let there be light. I hear drums. I wonder what it means by let there be light. Oh, you're a wizard. 
Get away. Um. Is that a dev message or a player message? It's nice a dev message as well. Um. Oh, saw you. I don't know what to do with that message. Oh no, it can't be a player message, I'm offline. Right. Oh, another wizard. Two of them. That thing is fast. We've got open chests, and you're fine. Dark Orb, that'll be the thing they were casting at me. So this way, this way is death. And yeah, that jump is way too far. Yeah, there are a bunch of dev messages in the games and they're usually big clues for stuff. Hey, hey we got one. Peep peep poo poo. Peep peep poo poo. Let's see how good my impression was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, so that's just a drop off for there. Right. So we got back up and around. like this roof is the way we were supposed to go next. Yeah, I still don't know what that is. So, let's jump. <laughs> yeah, those carvings are in every game. There's hello, I'm sorry, very good, and help me, I think, is one of them. You are a suspicious looking chest. Bugger it. Eh, no. I'd only got half my health. So now it's going to get a smack in the face. What do you have? <gasps> now we have very good. Very good. Wrong button. up this way. Or is this where I came from? This is where I came from. So we are continuing. We go down the spiral. You can hear horrible things over there still. Sneaky. 
Oh, Castro. Right. Take that. This place is big. Like really big. Right. Tell you what. Uh, he's got glowy eyes. Is he stronger than the others? Right. Let's use a cheeky sheet, cheeky heal, shall we? I don't tend to use these for healing, but we've explored quite a bit. Burp, burp. So yeah, you can see a bit splits bits on the floor now, like there was in Artorius's arena. So what have we got in here? We got a guy over there, guy in the corner. So yeah, the bits is all over this place. Ceiling drops. That's something Dark Souls loves doing. I just have enemies drop out of the rafters at you. Or rubbish. So we got more up there. And giggling down there. Yeah, there's a bunch of them down here. Is there any casters? Yeah, there is. There's you in there. Can I roll off to get you? Or not? No! Bastards. There. That works. And I got one of their heads! The head of an Ulusil resident whose humanity went wild after being devoured by... Devoured by the dark of Manus, father of the abyss. The bloated head is fissured, the cracks lined with innumerable tiny red eyeballs, with hard outside and mucus filled inside. No sane person could ever wear it. And it has a fair bit of poison resist on it. Let's see what it looks like, actually. Ew. Trying to work out where the giggling is coming from. Are you a secret? No. Yeah, I thought you might try and sneak up on me. With this strategically placed knock the person off item. that caster? That's what it sounded like. Yeah, it was. Cheeky fuckers up on the balcony. Wonder is this the way up? It's not followed me. Is he? Is it all the way up here? Don't think so. No, it's not. Must be a way onto the balcony then. Or I've gone past it. <gasps> My own alert made me jump. <laughs> Hi, Victory! I forgot that I changed that and it scared the crap out of me. 
So. <laughs> what the hell is that balcony then? How the hell do I get to it? Or is it going to be a go around and drop down thing? Yeah, it is. We can go this way. And then, yeah, it's going to be a jump over here, in it? And you are a mimic. Make sure there's nobody wandering around in here. Yeah, there is in there. Always somebody. So this guy has a chain point towards me, so he's gonna be a mimic, so let's smash him in the head. Gotcha. And we've got a crest key. What's that for? Where are my keys? Crest key. The grooves of the crest are enchanted. The door sealed with a powerful spell. Ooh. Ah, so that's where that bit leads. So what's here? A balcony. Leads down onto a roof. That was close. This gonna lead back inside somewhere. Got an item. Twin humanities. Not as useful as I thought it was gonna be. Am I trapped here now? <laughs> Makes me nervous as well. But I have got plenty of humanity so I can use that to heal if I want to but I don't like using humanity to heal so this just leads into an even more messed up area get back oh this is here so the corner of this room what I was looking at is progression Dun, 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 dun. And yeah, we're on the side of a building. This building must have collapsed or something. And we are big ominous looking bridge. Let's go this way. We have elevator. Ooh. We have elevator. Where does elevator go? Please be the elevator that I saw area. Yes! Let's go back, get some Estus. Now we've got a shortcut. Whoop whoop. Right. I'll stick a few things in the box as well because I am awkward about inventory stuff. So you can go in there. Purging stone can go in. Carvings we will keep just for fun. Stick Artorius' soul in there so I don't accidentally use it. The pendant I picked up at some point, I don't know where. The pendant has just sort of appeared and I don't know where I got it from. Sherry could probably tell me but he's not here because rubbish. Right, uh, repair as well. So, I'm on 36,000, I need 41 for a level up. Do I have enough on me? Take you off. Um, yes, I do. These are like 10,000. More health, please. Right. Back down this way. To the elevator.
and back down this way. Send it back up. And now to go across the ominous bridge. You can see this place is generally getting more and more messed up by the abyss. Oh, caster. Two casters. Fuck you guys. And the sneaky one. Ugh. Yeah, those casters hurt. So... Got you around here. guys down this way. Right. I should actually try blocking the casts with this because this weapon is supposed to be like anti-magic. So how far away do they start casting? there. So we'll go behind this pillar straight off. No! We've got two casters up there. One guy in between them, one guy either side. Right then. Yeah, dark sorcerers are mean. Like, there's pretty much nothing to resist against them as well. It's like part magic, part humanity. So magic resist helps, but not a whole lot. because there's any secrets off the elevator as well. So I'm thinking I'm just going to leg it and go left straight away. Right. That's the melee one's taken care of, now it's the casters. So if I go this way... No. Right. What's... Do we miss any items down here, importantly? Nothing there. Quick, chase it. There, we got a soul. So what's in here? This looks like a boss room. Is this a boss that I forgot about? Nope, it's some sort of abomination. <clears throat> Although we smack him just as, he, as hard as he hits us, so let's go for it. Trade fight. So, these are Ulusil sorcerers with their heads missing. 
all of them with their heads missing. Nice. It's on this side. This is all the same. Just to check. Not sure if there are any illusionary walls in here, but it is always worth a go just in case. Plus, I like the echoing sound that it makes. Nah, it's not going to be one, is there? Nope. And now it's really messed up in here. Trying to think what this reminds me of. I'm sure I've seen like a film that's like this. Yeah, it reminds me of Alien. Like when the Xenomorphs start making their nest. And as they progress through the, sh through the ship. And you've just got more and more gunk everywhere. So we've got a sh cell something broke out of. It's really dark down here, I can't see anything. But there's a bonfire. All is well, I've got a bonfire. Now this looks abyss to me. It is all dark and I can't see anything. But there are lights in the distance. So we've got... It's just going to be... This looks like a death drop. Yep. <laughs> oh well. Left it is then. Let's go. See, it lights up enough actually around me. Otherwise, I'd be tempted to use. Oh, Chasm of the Abyss. Sounds like a lovely place. <gasps> Shiny. Come here, you. Oh, he's gone. Right. So this is somebody's left us little thingy stones to show where to go. So I'm gonna go the other way. Do a bit of exploring in the darkness, shall we? Oh, caster. Ah, it's the casters that are laughing. And he interrupted my attack. Fuck her. dead. So yeah, that sorcery has quite a bit of poise damage to it. It interrupted my healing. Who is messaging me? recommending me more games. Oh, I'll have a look later. But I have just had a thought actually. We have light, don't we? Uh, box. Helmets. Come here. So that other part we saw 
uh, township where the door said produce light. I'm going to put the maggot helmet on to see if that works. Yeah, the bit where I went, like there was the dev message in front of the door and I was like, I don't know what to do. We have a source of light, we have the sunlight maggot, the helmet. So I'm going to put that on in front of it. So it was... It's around here somewhere. Because it's a dev message, so it's going to be important. So it was down and around, wasn't it? Oh, you're following me. Wonder where those footsteps were. Because yeah, I have a source of light. I have my helmet. So I'm going to try it. Tempted to wear the helmet in the abyss as well. So it was it wasn't here. It was roll off this bit and go around. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you were a little bug. Right. So, let there be light. I have light. I can hear those drums again as well. Sunlight maggot. <gasps> it works! Right, what's in here? Chest. You are a good chest. Silver pen silver pendant. <laughs> silver pendant engraved with a crest of Artorius. One of the ancient treasures of Arnor Londor presented to Artorius for facing the abyss. Effectively deflects the dark of the abyss, especially in its map cool. So it's a spell parry. Right then. Now I just need to make my way back to where we were. One of them just fell off. So we go back up this way and to the elevator. So we just gonna I'm just gonna leg it to that second bonfire. Or try to. But it looks like that item was important. In fact, I know it's important. I've just remembered what it's for. Beep. So this takes us to the ominous bridge. Cheese it, go left, hit you, hit you too. Now let's give this thing a go. Too late. <gasps> That's cool. Oh 
whatever that thing was, it missed me. So I'm just gonna dodge around this guy, cause fuck him. Oh no. Right, follow me back up this way. All I want to do is to get to the elevator. And away we go. Boy. And then go and sit at this second bonfire. I wonder if wearing the maggot makes any difference in here. No, it makes no difference to those things. But can I see any better out here? A little bit. A lot, actually. Me you. Ta-da! So I'll stick to this wall. <laughs> some of them do, you know. Like, some of them will follow you down lifts and just get splatted while you... Or some of them will even plunging attack you if they get the chance. So let's pull you guys out of the range of the caster. Do you want to cast again? Yeah, I can see you doing it. Using the terrain to my advantage. Trying to anyway. Right. Can't see any more red eyes over there, so I'm just gonna go for him. I'm glad that thing missed me, whatever it was. Got here Green Titanite Shard and Dark Bead. That must be what it was just casting. And then we've got this way. So I can go left or right. It's left. <gasps> there is humanity down there. What is to the right then? To the right is nothing, apparently. I can see an item all the way down there. But that down there is humanity. Lots of it. hear them as well. They come in for me now. Let's hope they don't cast anything. And they are hostile. Ugh. I missed the one closest to me. Yeah, they do damage just by coming into contact with you. So they're just going to try and walk into me, aren't they? 
There's a lot of them as well. A single light attack kills them, so... And they drop humanity. I'll just wait for them all to come to me. As soon as you get in range... Smack. So somebody's left the little crystals to show us where to go. What's over this way? The hell? An illusionary floor. Oh, it's the cat. I actually know what the cat is. It's called Alvina. It helps you. So, this way is another crystal bead. So, I'm going to follow the cat because the cat is a helpful thing. See where it leads me. Even meow as it does. Yeah, I can see it do damage there when it just walked into me. It was bigger than the others as well. Yeah. We have an elevator. Where does this go? That's this elevator. We are back outside Artorius. That is a big shortcut. Or a long cut, however you want to call it. Right then. So we were heading this way, following the cat. Who led us to a dead end, apparently. Unless it was just leading us to that. That elevator, so... Just follow the edge of the cliff, see where these beads lead. So you're leading further down. Just follow you. We got <gasps> caster. And one humanity. Door thing. Yeah, it worked. Right, so this is where we were earlier, where there were tons of them. We've unlocked a, a shortcut that takes us all the way back to the arena where Artorius was as well. Yeah, the... Uh, the light opened the door and gave us this silver pendant, which does this, which is a spell parry. Oh, I was hoping the bee. Oh, well, there's a drop off there. Let's have a look what's off here. <gasps> yeah. 
help me. It is a lot slower than a melee parry. Like, you see he crosses his arm. When those little glowing bits appear is when it actually parries. So you've got to do it a little bit ahead of time. Like the little bits that revolve around me. You can spam it. You're getting a drop attack. Go away, little one. Got Black Flame, which is a dark pyromancy. More humanity. You're a big one. Another big one. See, there's an item all the way over there. Who knows how to get to it, though? So here we have. Oh yeah, this is the way down that we saw before. We just detoured. Tell you what though, this place is pretty creepy. Like, I can't see anything. I can't even see where I'm supposed to go. Like, we've done this bit. I'm just going to have to do more exploring and see what I can find. So the blue crystal is here. Yellow crystal is up here. Tell you what. There is where the way up to Artorius is. So, where am I supposed to go? This is a cave. So this is where we followed the cat. Um. Keep getting game recommendations recommendations from my mate Ashley. You know you should play this. So I'm just adding them all to the list. Um, I might just start checking for illusionary walls. Dun 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 dun. dun. There's bound to be one somewhere. Try it here. See when my weapon passes all the way through instead of bouncing off, it always makes me suspicious. And I know there is at least one illusionary wall in here I need to find. To do the special cutscene bit I want to do. I just can't remember where it is. It's here. Well then. Yeah, this is the bit I wanted to do. 
go away. Because we have a friend trapped in here. Slayer is dead. I have killed him. In here we have a familiar looking dog with a sword in its mouth. Cleansing Great Shield, which is Artorius's big ass Great Shield with 80% physical magic, fire, lightning, and quite high stability. It's the steel Great Shield used by the Knight Artorius who succumbed to the Abyss. Artorius, deeply scarred by the Abyss, used this to form a barrier to protect his compatriot Sif. Although this drained the shield, its magic defense remains high. So, where the fuck is the boss? I'm going to continue following these. I've got a feeling it's around here somewhere. So this one points this way. That's where... Oh, this is the bit I missed. This collapsed pillar thing. Let's go down here. Who was messaging me now? Bum, 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 bum. Right. So, Sif has been found and rescued. We are now down here. Twin humanities. Left or right? Well, that looks like a boss door. So we will go everywhere else first. Oop. What is here? Another item? White Titanite Slab. If only we were doing holy weapons. Oh, there's another green thingy. We've got another item. It's all of a hero. And then boss fog. Um I've got Chloranthe on. We've got the parry thing on. Let's put the important item back on. Give it a go. So what have we got here? 
this will be manners. Look at all that abyss. Ow, oh, he got me. And now we're on the floor. He's so pretty. So this is Manus, father of the abyss. And you can see he's an aggressive bastard. And oh, I'm almost dead already. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even get one hit in. He's aggressive and he's fast. But. There is an easier bonfire I can go to now. If I go back to. Township. Or not even township. I could just go back to. Oh no it is. I can go back this way now. Hi Brina. I have just, just made it to Manus. So if I go... Oh, there's the grave. Out this way. And then to the right, I think it is. Is it over here? Or is it that there? It was here. This takes us back down. Yeah, going through the DLC before I do the rest of the main game. I've already taken out Artorius. So I have Manus and Calamite to do. Oh, I was meant to swing at him. So I'm just going to make my way back to Manus now. So it was all the blue one. And there is the caster at the top of here, isn't there? Yeah. You. And then it was down this. At least this is quite a short boss run. Yeah, Manus is the the furtive pygmy, the primeval man, and many other names. But he's a big, ugly, aggressive bastard, and I got stomped by him. Although I did go in with like no Estus and like two thirds health. There is a summon for this fight as well. I'm going to give him a couple of guy, a couple of goals without the summon, and then I'm actually going to try it because the summon does story based stuff. So I will let this play again in case Brina missed it. Snatch! And away we go. Look at how pretty he is. Such a pretty boss. And yeah, that is a giant staff he has because he uses sorcery as well. Dark sorcery, but still sorcery. If I had. Right. So there isn't an edge to the arena. Ow. How much damage do I do to you? 
not much. Whoa, what a combo. See what my mate meant now about fighting this guy with a great shield as well. Apparently fighting him with a great shield is a common tactic. You saw he hit me full on and it barely staggered me. It is this combo that is the main one. But yeah, he's hitting me and I'm able to poise through it. No problem. It is just dodging it. It's the hard part. He's fast. So this time I will try and... I will go for... I've got to sit down with the other one fire. A wild Brina, quick throw a Pokeball at it. Right then. Now we're going to sit at this bonfire. And I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to bump it up to 10 Estus because I think I'm going to need the extra Estus for this guy. But I also want to be able to summon because there is a summon for this boss I want to use. So I am no human. And we're gonna kindle. I actually used one too many then, so I'll bugger it. We will get a bit silly with the Estus. Here we go. Now we've just got to run outside to the elevator, which will take us almost all the way there. Uh, down we go. Right then. Send this back up. It's hard to judge how far away those things actually are from me. So we green. Go back up this way. One behind me. I saw you. It didn't cost ten Estus. I've uh, I bumped up the bonfire to give me extra. Mood. Hi Wayne, how are you doing? I can flip my cam, I can't remember how to do it. I think I actually have to go into my cam settings on Windows because of the way it works, but mood. I should probably pick Doom up again soon, because they've released more DLC for it. Apparently it's even cooler. Right, screw you guys. Just go through the fog. 
get a hat that says dong. <laughs> right. This is what we need. Summon friend. Oh yes. We have the dog all with us. That's what we needed. And Sif does fuck all for damage, but Sif is a badass, which is the reason they're here. And that's a nasty combo. Maybe that's what that spell deflect thing is supposed to be for, but bugger it, I rolled for it. Bitch, got ya. Thank you for the help, Seth. And then down here, wow, sixty thousand souls. Down here we have Dusk, the lady who was lost. <laughs> Manu of the Abyss. <laughs> 60,000 shiny ducks. Are you going to get up or what? Do I need to light the bonfire first or something? <laughs> Forty! <laughs> like, do you not... We're supposed to be here to rescue her. What the hell is she doing? When are you getting on your bollocks, Sabrina underscore? <laughs> Brina is starting at 8, I believe. With some XCOM 2. Where he's going to murder us all again and again and again. Giving me flashbacks to uh, Rimworld. Are you actually going to get up or what? Wayne, remember that time someone streamed Space Marine? <laughs> right, let's go back to... Is it Sanctuary Garden? That's all still Sanctuary. Go speak to the Mushroom Woman. See what she says. Because she was the one who sent us to go after dusk, and dusk doesn't seem to want to move. I still have trust issues from Itotarix. I have awaited thee. Thou hast rescued Princess Dusk. 
and rid us of that terrible primeval human. Even halting the spread of the abyss, I salute the Oh, Dave wants to watch Space Marine Christ. as well. Please allow me to express so at least my two gratitude. of us, Brina. I thank thee, as do we all. Yeah, she gave me some mushrooms. I will remember thee, but I will keep thy story to my. This is the best way, for thou art come from a time far ahead. No one will sing thy praises. But yet thy greatness shall live on, for it shall be my purpose to remember all thou hast done for us. So yeah, basically we went back in time. We defeated our Fortorius, we beat Manus and pushed back the abyss, and then Ortorius gets all the credit for our work. Right then. Um, so now Hello, we need to go. Postman Dave. Postman Dave. So now we're going back to Township. We'll go and try that door that was blocked before and see what's there. Postman Dave. Pilot Breener. Official Pilot Breener as well now. Got a license to fly and everything. Right Dave, I'm going through the door. Are you ready? Crest key. I wonder what could be up here. <gasps> a giant. Mm, a visitor, have we? The only thing Breen is officially is a grade of bollocks. Predatorious. <laughs> An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am, retired and blind. A little help to thee, I'm afraid. So this is Hawkeye Goth, and he is the guy who makes these carvings. And he gives them away for almost nothing. And he also sells dung pies, because dung pies are cool and useful for everybody. Homeward bones and prisms. He sells titanite shards and large titanite shards. And he sells Goth's great arrow as well. The vast secret to explore this domain. Be wary of a black dragon. I fear thee no match for this terrible beast. Hmm. There's very little to be said. What good is a dog with no hairs to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Oh. Farewell, you. Lead thy life. As thou seest fit. This here is a bow. It's his bow. But he doesn't want to do anything at the moment. So we need to go the one place I've not been to yet. Which I avoided on purpose. So it's only a short distance from here. Now, if I'm lucky, there might actually be somebody in this room here as well. I can't remember how exactly you trigger her appearing. No. Nothing there. Right. So the one place I've not actually been yet in this DLC... ...is down this way. This is where we came in. And over here is a path leading down. You can see crystals. Crystals are a mark of um, 
curse. So what's down this way? We have dogs. Arch all of a brave, brave warrior. So, what else have we got? Another dog. Dog does bugger all to us. More fancy glowing plants to light the way. Dead dog. That one even missed us. Right, what's along here? Doorway. More cursed crystals and a waterfall. Hey look, it's a dragon. Where's Bart when there's an actual dragon around? Any. Oh, he's already spotted us, he's gone. It's off. Away we go. <laughs> so, we have the most boss arena of boss arenas. Dragon Pepe Laugh. Dragon. Got a few items. Another item. Oh look, it's dragon. Now, how am I going to fight him? Almost like I need a ranged weapon or something. Oop. This guy has black fire as well. And there he is just flying around in circles like the dickhead he is. And I'm dead. But the last item was a clue on what we need to do. So, I need to walk back to... I keep forgetting to sit down at the bonfires. Township. Actually, sit down and it's on fire this time. Bum, 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 bum. Just pop our head in, see if the visitor is here. No. Now, let's go and see our friend Goff and see what he has to say about this dragon. Poor Goff, who was locked away in a tower and just spends all his time carving little carving little rocks that say stuff. So Goff, I found that dragon you talked about. Tomorrow, is the black dragon posing the duress? Yeah, it is. Yes, I thought as much. He's called Calamit, ferocious dragon indeed, even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this, but my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. Yeah, I'm gonna kick his ass. 
<laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch, and see how Goth hunts dragons. Now we got the cool cutscene. So this guy is blind. There's this giant ass bow. I don't know. You're alright, Manu. You came back just in time for the cool cut scene. <laughs> yes. A truer shot was never loosed. That bat will be grounded for a good spell. The rest is in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah. Dragon slaying. Knighthood's highest calling. He is an ancient dragon. Sky, but I know he will not be put down. So yeah, he wants us to go and fight Alamite, which I'm gonna do. Now Goff's pinned one of his wings down with a giant ass arrow. He's not gonna be able to fly around and fuck with me. So time to go and fight. What is supposed to be the hardest, hardest fight of Dark Souls 1. I have also just remembered what I need to do to make her appear. So I want to sit at the bonfire. Now I'm going to get back here. So, don't need you. Let's see if she's there. There we go. So this is the fourth of the knights. It's the only one we haven't met yet. This is Kieran. You, is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Yes, I suppose so. I'm not going to use it. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. And she gives us the dark silver and the gold tracer. May the Lord guide thee. And does she say anything else? May the Lord guide thee. Nothing. But let's have a look at what she's just given us. So she's given us the dark silver tracer. Just a sword. You want to be tracer, but you've not got a decent enough London accent. Or Cockney accent is it she's got? So this is the Dark Silver Tracer. But it pairs with the Gold Tracer. Gold Tracer has the coolest effect in the game. And the coolest attacks. So yeah. Gold Tracer is a very popular weapon, just because of how cool it looks. Right, 
back to Dragon Tooth or killing dragons. <gasps> Who's gonna get there first? Uh, Bart got there first. Right. Let's go and give this dragon a bash. Don't know how many attempts it's going to take me. But we shall give it a go. And oh, we've got a proper boss fog and everything now. Too busy trying to buy followers. Right then. Time to do a proper boss fight. So in we go. And down here somewhere should be Calumet with his wing pinned closed. Me, you. Got you. More twinkling titanite that I don't need. Right, where are you, Calumet? Hey there. Now, how was it you fought him? Is he a stick to the ass boss? Oh yeah! Can I break his tail? All dragons have a tail break. Yeah. Yeah, this guy is apparently the toughest boss in Dark Souls 1. Whoa, what's that? Don't like that sound either. I think that's Calumet's curse, you know. Yeah, I doubt I'm going to be able to even hit his tail, to be honest. Go for a quick run. Alright, he's not as bad as I remember him being. Or maybe I'm just better at dodging his shit than I was before. So that's his curse. And now I have a floaty thing above my And now he does a lot more damage. So now I really need to not get hit. Fucker. Double chug. Or triple chug maybe. Got him. Or not. Fuck. I just need to hit him once. Running attack. <laughs> Sorry if I blow out the mic there. <laughs> And we have the Calamity Ring, so fuck. Hardest boss in the Dark Souls 1, first try. So we get the Calamity Ring, which I will not be wearing. A ring enchanted by the orange eye of Calamite, the bringer of Calamity. 
doubles damage received by its wearer. A useless ring befitting of no finger, best left unknown or at least well hidden. So, got him. I wasn't actually expecting to do that today. Carmeet is dead. So let's go and give Goff the good news, shall we? So you remember that dragon you didn't like? I killed him. Dun, 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 dun. Going all the way back here. <laughs> no, if you'd have said God Gamer or something along those lines, it would have jinxed me. But because you said first try, it was alright. It is God Gamer that is the cursed phrase. <laughs> so, head back this way. Kieran is gone. Let's see, go and see what Goff says. I never know if it's Goff or Go. I always say golf. Oh, poor Alex. It's okay, we'll throw a few god gamers at Brina later. See if we can't make him kill off some more of his team. So, I killed that dragon. Thou hast defeated Calamite? Wondrously played. Lord Gwyn's blessing upon me. <laughs> that beast will never take to the skies again. The dragons shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly, but for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Sixty knights to kill one dragon. Pride. Hatred, rage, the dragons teased out our dearest emotions, thou will understand one day. At thy twilight, old thoughts return, and great waves of nostalgia. And yeah, it's actually his voice in the little carvings as well. Ah, this great bow. I shan't need it, but no <laughs> dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it. But here, I need outweighs mine. <gasps> he gave me his bow. I suspect that the dark of the abyss. It's but the abyss. Yeah, this is what he's talked about earlier. Farewell. So, he gave me his bow. Let's have a look at it. Unable to wield with my current stats because you need 27 strength and 20 dex, but look at the size of it. But I don't have any arrows to fire with it, but look at the size of the bow compared to my character. Nuts. Both of these nuts. Right, TLC is done. Back to the base game. So, we have the forest to do. We have New Londor to do. And then the end boss himself. So, go to the forest first. We'll start making our way there. Because I need to go and buy something. Warp to Firelink it is. <gasps> oh 
I love big weapons, Manu. <laughs> right, so. Oh, it's going to get worse when I play Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2, I'm having to use the Cestus as my melee weapon. So, fortunately I will be able to mix in magic, magic and stuff with it, but it's still going to be a struggle. Imagine John playing Dark Souls though. It would do his head in. Right. Let's go and speak to Andre because you have something. Show me that ember of yours. Well, I've never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about leaving that ember with me? I find it strangely fascinating. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you. This ember really mimics. Is yeah, mimics special. are mean. I sense great potential, indeed. So, can't upgrade any of those. Can't upgrade any of those. Uh, so I came here to get this crest of Artorius. Go get yourself. Hoi, Killy. Rina was looking for you earlier and I just said I don't know where you are. I assumed you were in your room, but Soul of Manus can go in there. Uh it's all over here. Carvings, go in there. Um Tracer. Great sword I'm not gonna end up using. Tracer can go in there. Dragon's Tooth will keep. Great bow can go in there. Uh, kite shield we're not gonna use anymore. Probably not gonna use the great shield either. Arrows can go in there. Maggot and the bloated head can go in there. I don't think I've got any other armor on me, do I? Nope. And then the calamity ring that I'm never going to use can go in there. Right. Prepare our shit and head into the woods. So we've only got a few minutes left, but I'll... Oh yeah, do I have enough to level up? 4,000. I've got enough on me to make that. Um, Proud Knight. 3,000. Just under. There we go. And we'll get more endurance. Right then, we shall dick around in the forest until Brina is live. Go 
because the next boss to fight is this way and there is also a special cutscene for it now that I've done the DLC. Brina gonna be late. Oh yeah, because it's Brina in it. And yeah, he should also get some new emotes sorted, like... He should have at least another one, two emote slots, emote slots unlocked now. Fuck you. I'll just carry on straight ahead. Yeah, these guys do nothing to me now. So you're on the other side of there. I don't even know how to get over there. No, there is. I remember this one. Secret bonfire. Now remember to sit down in it. And now we can all watch the special cutscene. Is it through here? Oh no, it's further along, we need to go. Right. Bit of exploring first then. What's well, down this way? We have obvious trap. something else I remember around here. This. You're not a real tree. Right, most of the stuff around here is just going to get splatted. Like this guy. Never stood a chance. So, what was out this way? Got ruins. Ah, getting caught on everything now. Ah, bunch of them. It was a trap. Elite Knight set. Cool. Past the set that's on the cover of the game. Right, what's through here? We have some stairs. More stairs. Even more stairs. 
lots of stairs. Oh, we have a boss. Right. See if we can do another boss before the wiener goes live. Eh? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Where are you? There you are. Such nice boss music as well. Now, do I kill the boss or do I die and do it next time? I'm going to see if I can kill the boss. Just need to wait for it to land. This is where this weapon's going to help me a lot with the magic resist on it. But this boss is doing nothing to me. Now come on land. That's all you need to do. Land so I can hit you. Right. How much is this gonna do? <laughs> well, Four bosses down. So I will just check what's up here because I always forget what's up here. And then I will pour it back to the bonfire and we shall raid over to Brina. So we've got stairs and stairs and stairs. And stairs. Yes. Watchtower basement key and a divine ember and a homeward bone. Uh, which one is watchtower basement key? Key to the basement of the watchtower in Undead Berg. The basement of the watchtower forms a stone cell. There are rumours of a hero turned hollow who was locked away by a dear friend for his own good, of course. Oh yeah, so it's the guy who has this. So we shall homeward bone. I've got plenty of those because I never used any. And we are going to raid on over to Brina. Oh. I shall see you, all you guys next time. Next stream will probably be Tuesday with more Subnautica. I did manage to recover my stuff after getting my last submarine wrecked. But, uh,. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks Kelly for gifting a sub to Charlie. So yeah, thank you all for watching. It will probably be on Tuesday, as I said, for the next stream. I'm still trying to throw a random third day in there, so keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on the Discord to see when it is. And I will see you all next time. Have fun watching Brina. Remember to tell him his shit. And remember to tell him that he needs to at least try and keep the women alive in XCOM. Bye everybody. <laughs>